Okay, this is this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to um, on how to install a a forum on your website. If you have a for, uh, website with uh, GoDaddy.com or practically any other website, I, I or hosting people, I assume. Um, anyway, let's get to it. Um, the first thing you need is obviously a domain name. If you don't have a domain name, go to GoDaddy.com or I think there's a Gator one or something like that. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Um, but I'm going to specifically do GoDaddy.com with their hosting. So the first thing you need to do is after you have your domain name is install your MyQSL database. Because you're going to need a MyQSL database to uh, run your forum. I do not know what exactly that means. I have no internet engineer or anything so I don't know what it is anyways your first step is to go to godaddy.com and log in with your username and password um, once you do that on your right hand side you click you click um, on my account uh, once you go in, once you get into those settings on your left side there's gonna be a bunch of options uh, look for look for hosting on the left side and click on it once you're there, um, find the uh, find the website you're working for. Uh, in my case, I'm doing a forum for 99centsdrumkits.com. So you click launch on the control panel, and once you click launch on the control panel, uh, your hosting control center is going to show up. Um, now, on the towards the left, towards the bottom, there's going to be a database MyQSL zero of ten. You can set up ten per domain name, I assume. So right next to it, we're going to click Setup, and once you click on Setup, okay, once you're in there, um, you're going to create a database description, um, post your the instrumentals. So name is gonna be called post your yeah. instrumentals. Oh, it's not gonna fit post your post your beat password and set up a password. Um, okay, I guess mine is weak. Oh, only we start off with a higher case letter. Read only username. Um, we're going to press OK. Enter value username cannot be can only contain letters and numbers. Your username. Okay, post your beat. All right, you know what? Post your beat. Okay, once that happens, uh. You're gonna have to wait about, I can say, about 20 to half an hour, sometimes 15 minutes, depending on how fast or how much bandwidth they're going through, or how much working, how much data they're processing. So, um, just wait about 10 minutes or so. I mean, 30 minutes, and instead of saying pending, pending setup, it'll probably say active or something. So that's the first step. After that, all right. Once, uh, once we wait a couple minutes. Uh, maybe 10. I, I waited actually, this happened actually really fast. It took less than two minutes. Um, then again, it's 3.35 in the morning. So once you do that, you press refresh. Let's say setup is ready. So you click edit. And we're going to take a few notes here. Just give it a few seconds because this is acting up. Okay, this is your host name. Right here, Did you set it up. This is going to be your database name, post your beat, uh, your username. I guess the username too. 
I did that by mistake. This is just optional. Um, um, okay, after you do that, um, if you don't have an FTP client, um, I strongly suggest you get one. Unless you work through GoDaddy, I don't. There's a way to to manage your your website through GoDaddy. I don't know how to do it. I really have never never learned because I've always used a a third party FTP client. If you don't have one, uh, this one's called uh, FileZilla. F I L E Z I L L A. FileZilla. It says it right here. Um, it's free and it works great for me. So if you don't have it, get it. And once you do that, you upload. Um, well, first of all, I'm, just, I'm jumping the gun. Depending on what type of web uh, forum you're looking for, you're gonna have to go to. You're gonna have to download their files. In my case, I'm using PHP BB, which is a free and open source forum software. When you're in here, you click download. Um, go to a full package, or actually click their download stable release and download their zip file for their full package save it or open it whatever you like and we're going the content all the contents inside this zip file we're gonna have to upload into your into your domain name into your website um, wherever wherever you want your forum located in my case is 99 cents drumkits.com slash slash post your beat or post beat and in here I dropped all the content um, all the contents that were in there and once you do that you go into you if you open up your your index once you go into that once you go into that web address it's gonna take you here no wait I'm sorry I assume okay let's try it we go uh, 99 cents come on okay post your beat I mean, post beat slash index.php it's gonna bring it's gonna bring you here and we're going to click install it's gonna give you a bunch of jibber jabber blah blah click proceed to next yada yada start installation now over here is where your QSL stuff from your GoDaddy account is needed. So we're going to take the host name. Add it to the host. Uh, server ports. I don't know anything about no server port. Database name. Post your beat. next and successful connection and I think that's it basically oh you set up your administrator name let's just call me admin password I'm making it the same as the last time the same as the last one but I know it's a no-no but I don't care contact information Proceed to next setup. The configuration has been written. You may not proceed to next. Proceed to next. These are just options for your site. Email settings enabled. Use a CSS server. For I don't. I don't know anything about this. I don't know what this is. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. I guess. I'll leave that alone for now. Um, Server URL settings. If your server is if 
you know, since I do not know anything about this, I am going to skip everything from there. As we create and probably proceed to the next step. And we're almost done. We just got the final stage coming up. And there you go. We have created a website, a forum for your website. Basically, I think we're done. Uh